Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to go over how you can connect your very own sensor to the Robonomics Decentralized Sensor Network. Connecting a sensor to the Robonomics Sensor Network can be very beneficial due to the fact that the data recorded by the sensor will be logged on the DAO IPCI blockchain. This makes the data immutable, it cannot be altered after the fact, and this can be very beneficial for compliance reporting reasons. In order to create your very own sensor assembly, the following hardware is required. Most of these items can be bought either from AliExpress or from your local hardware store. The first thing you need is a computer. The computer should have the ability to connect to the internet over Wi-Fi. You need an ESP8266 Node MCU V3. This is the Wi-Fi microchip that connects your assembly to the internet. And you need an SDS011. This is the air quality sensor. Ideally, you want to buy this air quality sensor complete with the cable as shown on screen now because this is the cable that connects up to the Wi-Fi microchip. You need a USB power bank, ideally with one of the outputs being a standard USB, USB-A. You need a micro USB cable. One of the end connections must connect to the ESP8266 via micro USB and the other end connection should connect to your USB power bank, ideally via USB-A. The reason for this is because then you can use the same cable to connect to the power bank and connect to the computer. You need something that can act as a suitable housing or case for the assembly. In this demonstration, we simply use a plastic Tupperware box. You need some kind of tubing which will penetrate the housing and connect the outside weld to the inside of the box. In our case, we use the hard plastic straw. You may need a soldering iron and the consumable solder. This depends completely on the cable which you get with your SDS-011 air quality sensor. Your cable's end connection may be able to be split and then you will not need the soldering iron However, in our case, the cable was not able to be split, so we had to actually cut each wire and solder it to the ESP8266 Wi-Fi microchip. Likewise, if the end connection of your cable is not able to be split, you will need some wire cutters to cut the wires and strip off the casing of the wire to expose the metal inside so you can solder it to the Wi-Fi microchip and if you had to make your own penetration within the housing you likely will need some kind of silicone sealant so that you can make the housing watertight. The first process that we need to do is flashing the memory of the ESP8266 Wi-Fi microchip. This basically means that we are deleting whatever is stored on the microchip's memory and replacing it with the information that we need in order to connect it to the Robonomics sensor network. So using the USB cable, connect the ESP8266 Wi-Fi microchip to your computer. And now we need to go to the Robonomics GitHub, which is linked in the description. And more specifically, we need to go to the sensors connectivity section. Once there, on the right hand side of the page, there is a section called releases and we want to click on the latest release. Once you have clicked on the latest release, scroll down and under the assets section, click on either the flasher for Windows 64 bit or the flasher for Windows 32 bit, depending on uh, which suits your operating system. The download should then begin shortly. Once the file is downloaded, open its containing folder and then right click it and run as administrator.
Once the program has opened, a very simple looking menu should appear. Make sure that the correct hardware has been selected under the board section. If you cannot select your board, then it is likely that you need to install the drivers for the Wi-Fi microchip. To download the drivers, go to this Chinese site, the link is in the description. Once you are on that site, scroll down to the relevant information section. You then want to download the ch341ser.exe. You want to click on that and download the exe. Once you have downloaded the exe, run the file and the driver setup x64 should open. Simply press install and the drivers will be installed. You can then close this application. You should now be able to select your board on the flasher program. However, if you cannot see your board, you may need to just close this program quickly and reopen it. Now you want to make sure that you have selected the appropriate firmware language, which is currently either Russian or English. Once you have selected your language, press upload and the new firmware should be installed onto the Wi-Fi microchip. The green bar should progress to 100% in around 10 seconds. And during this time, a blue light should repeatedly flash on the ESP8266 Wi-Fi microchip. Now it's time to connect our components. Your SDS011 air quality sensor should have come with a small cable. One side of this cable should connect to the actual sensor itself to the SDS-011 and the other side will connect to the ESP8266 Wi-Fi microchip. It is required that we modify the end connection which is going to connect to the Wi-Fi microchip. This is because different wires which feed into the connector need to be attached to pins on the Wi-Fi microchip which are not close to each other. So the image on screen shows a general layout of how that should look. So you may run into problems depending on the type of cable which you received with your sensor. In our example, the cable end connection was not able to be split. It was just crushing the uh, plastic end connection. So we had to actually cut the wires off of the end connection and manually solder them to the Wi-Fi microchip. However, on the Robonomics video, which shows a very similar process, the demonstrator was able to split the end connector. This means that the build quality of your cable determines if you need to solder or not. The cable comes with four individual wires which need to be installed onto different pins on the Wi-Fi microchip. So from the sensor, the wire which connects to the TXD needs to be installed on the D1 pin. The wire which is connected to the RXD needs to be installed to the D2 pin. The wire which is connected to GND needs to be installed to the GND pin, which may just be labeled as G. And the 5V wire needs to be connected to the VU pin, which may also be labeled as VV. So once you have connected the wires to the Wi-Fi microchip, either by using the split end connector or by soldering, you can now connect the USB power bank to the Wi-Fi microchip using the micro USB cable. After a few seconds, if you look at the underside of the SDS-011 particle sensor, there should be a red LED light, which infrequently flashes every few seconds. If this light is flashing, it means that everything should be working fine. So now what we need to do is connect the entire assembly to the Robonomics decentralized sensor network. Open your internet browser and go to maps.google.com. You then need to locate the approximate location where the sensor will be placed. Once you have found the correct location, 
right click that place on the map and click on the top option which will copy the coordinates of that location. Paste those coordinates into a notepad or Word document file so that we can use them later. Now open up your Wi-Fi connections and connect to the sensor. It should be called something like this as you can see on screen. Once connected, a new web page should automatically open. You need to wait a few seconds and then the available Wi-Fi networks will be loaded. Select your Wi-Fi network and input the Wi-Fi password. This connects the Wi-Fi microchip to your Wi-Fi. Click on the sensors tab and paste in the coordinates that we previously copied as shown Click Save Configuration and Restart. Reconnect the computer to your Wi-Fi and then head on over to sensors.robonomics.network. After a few seconds, the available sensors on the network should load and your sensor should now appear on the network. You can now see that there is a blue dot on the map in the location of my sensor. And if you zoom in, you can double check that the location is correct. If you click on the blue dot, a box appears on the right hand side of the screen, which gives you the real time data collected by the sensor. It has been approximately one week since I set up the sensor so if we want to view the historical data that the sensor has collected what we need to do is head on over to the sensors.rovernomics.network website click on history from dow ipci blockchain and then press continue this box on the left hand side appears and you can change the uh the dates here so i'm going to change this to uh 16 here and press start it can take a few seconds to load but after a few seconds the uh, sensors will appear on the map so now the sensors have loaded so if we click on the sensor you can see that the graph updates so you can see it's updating the graph to show the historical data which was collected. An interesting thing is this, uh, this section of the graph where the uh, air quality gets significantly better is when I brought the sensor inside an air conditioned room just to check on it. So it shows that the inside of my uh, apartment has quite a, a bit better air quality than outside in a busy city center. So this is what the final product looks like. The sensor and the battery are secured by tape. And if we go to the penetration, we can see that the plastic straw has the silicon sealant around it to prevent water from getting inside. And that's it for this video. I would like to thank the Robonomics community team members, especially Jakob, Samsara and Dimitri for all their help answering my questions during this project. I would strongly recommend that all of you join the Robonomics Telegram group, which is linked in the description, so that you too can interact with this amazing community.